Okay, a year into touchscreen technology, you uh, kind of shook everything up when all of a sudden the experimental industry started having technology that, well, the big boys didn't have yet. Yes. Kind of exciting, but what have you learned from this year? What are your customers telling you? Well, uh, we've actually had a head start on it. We purchased the Advanced Flight Systems company uh, a couple years ago now, and they had already had touch on the market. So we learned a lot from them on how to do touch right. Now we've had touch for a little less than a year, but we knew right from the very beginning, as wonderful as touch is, you can't always use it. You know, your arm is a very long lever, and in turbulence, it's gonna be bouncing. So we always maintained the ability to, anything you can do with the touch, you can do with hard knobs. When we came out with the touch itself, we also came out with the hard control knobs, Without even looking at them, you can reach over and feel they're all different shapes. Very hard control knobs that have a very well-defined click. You know exactly where you are. So it, in turbulence, you want that capability. Have you found any input uh, coming back as far as how quickly people are taking advantage of the technology or any gripes or anything that you're incorporating now and in training people to use the product? actually it's gone very smoothly acceptance is actually higher than we expected we expected maybe 50 percent of the people would adapt it because we had a lot of feedback from people saying they were a little leery of touch once we introduced it and people got hands-on we're finding that the vast majority of our customers buying new displays are buying the touch and we haven't been able to start the program yet but we basically for cost we're upgrading existing displays and we have a uh, uh, a list of people who want that, which is hundreds and hundreds long, and we're, we're, we're going to get to that as soon as we can. What's going to be involved in that particular exchange and install? The install is very easy. It's just plug and play. You basically take your existing screen off, unplug it, send it to us. We will pull off all your settings so you don't have to reset anything. We can't call it new because we are reusing the displays and having a touch sensor put on them. But our LCD screens have a lifetime of 20 times your lifetime. So the electronics and the case, we're putting new components in. So essentially you're getting a new unit back. Once you get it back, it has all your settings on it. You just plug it in, screw it in, put the connector on, and you're flying. What's that cost? Basically $800. We're home builders ourselves. We know that a dollar should go a long way. Uh, we've always had that as philosophy that we want to make things affordable. Uh, and also backwards compatible. We're selling products now that we introduced back 12 years ago. And we still have been doing software, free software updates all the way along. We wanted to extend that even to the hardware. If we can make something backwards compatible, we want to do that. Now what else can we expect in the future from Dynon? Unfortunately, I can't even tell you right now, but, but look within the next uh, month or two and we'll have some nice new announcements, yeah. Robert, thank you very much. Yeah, Jim, it's always a pleasure. Aero TV is brought to you by a real airplane, not just a toy. The Airplane Factory Sling is a high-performance two-place LSA that fits the needs of private individuals, flight schools, and flying clubs alike, and has been called one of the best handling LSAs on the market. Check it out at www.airplanefactory.com.